Okay, so in the last video I accidentally closed out of this file. So I just went file open and, and reopened this motion path FLA um, with the flapping arms. So we can actually, I was supposed to hit this. So let's hit that. I, I ended up kind of messing around with my um, path, but really um, when you scrub through the timeline, it's not going to look like uh, he's his arms are flapping, but actually if you do a modify or control test, it'll show you with him actually flapping his hands. So it's a little bit, when you have a nested animation, um, it won't always show up when you scrub with the timeline, but it'll show up when you do a um, control test. As you can see, you can see his arms moving in this one. So, okay, so we're going to actually move on to back to the original file that we were working on. So we can just close out of this, uh, maybe just do a file save to be um, sure, and then we can just close out. So the book starts to talk about easing, and this refers to the way in which a motion tween proceeds, um, and it's kind of like acceleration or deceleration. Um, so an object that moves from one side of the stage to the other can start off slowly, and then build up speed, and then stop suddenly or the object can start quickly and then gradually slow to a halt. So you can control that with Adobe Animate. Um, if your keyframes, they actually indicate the beginning and end of the motion, but the easing determines how your objects gets from one keyframe to the next. Um, so a simple way to apply easing to a motion tween is to use the properties panel. Um, we've used this before. Um, easing values range from 100, negative 100 to positive 100. A negative value creates more of a gradual change from the starting position, known as an ease in, and a positive value creates a gradual slowdown, known as an ease out. Um, a more advanced way of applying eases to a motion tween is to use the motion editor, which we'll be learning in the next, um, section of this lesson. Actually, not in the next section of this lesson, but the next lesson. So easing will affect the t entire span of a motion tween, um, but if you want the easing to affect only frames between certain keyframes, um, you can split your motion tween layer and just have the easing affect certain frames. Um, so if we return to this O3 working copy FLA file, um, so the motion tween of the car in the left car layer begins at um, frame 75. So if we go to this, I'm just going to highlight it so I know which one is which, and then I'm going to um, maybe zoom out a little bit and scroll over. So it's supposed to start on, yeah, 75 right here. So. Um, And it ends at frame 191 at the, at the very end of this timeline. So if I zoom out, 191 right here is where it ends. Um, however, the actual movement of the car starts at frame 75 and ends at frame 100. So we can see that keyframe is actually the end, the end of the motion of the car, um, or the movement of the car. So we can split the motion tween so that you can so that we can apply an ease to the tween just from frame 75 to frame 100. So we're going to start doing this by selecting frame 101. So make sure I got that selected. Um, and then we will split motion is the next. Thing. So we need to right click on frame 101 and do split motion. If you have a Mac, you have to do a control click. And now it's it should be cut. It will actually add in that extra keyframe. So we're going to kind of do the same thing to middle car. Um, so we're going to select frame 94 on this one, which is right after that. And then we'll do a control click on a Mac. Okay, let's see it. I'm not sure what's going on here. There we 
Here, let me zoom in a little bit. So I guess you don't want the whole layer highlighted. When I had the whole layer highlighted, it wasn't like this. It wasn't letting me, so I actually just kind of clicked off and then just made sure I had that one frame selected and then did the control click and then split motion. So if you're having trouble with that split motion button being grayed out, that's probably it. Um, so just make sure the whole thing isn't highlighted blue when you're doing it. Just make sure you have that one frame selected. Um, so we'll split the motion to cut the motion tween into two separate tween spans. Um, so, and we're going to do that to the right car too on frame uh, 107. So as you can see, this is all blue, but we, I don't want that. So I guess I'll just kind of, maybe I'll click up here and then I'll just find frame 90, or let's see, 107. Um, that's 106, 107. So I have that blue square kind of, that frame is selected. Control click on a Mac or just right click with your PC if you have a PC and then split motion. So we've done that to all three layers in the car folder. So this is where we're going to apply it, ease in to the motion tweens of the approaching cars to give them a sense of weight to make them decelerate as real cards would. So in the middle car layer right here, I'm just going to highlight that. Um, we want to select basically any frame between the first and second keyframes of the first motion tween, which would be 70 to um, 93, basically. So anywhere in there, um, it kind of looks like in the book they're selecting somewhere around 86. So I think I might just make sure I just have that one frame selected. Sorry, I just got a call on my phone. Um, let's see here. And in the ease in section of the properties panel, um, where that is, oh, it's right here. Actually, it's under tweening. So this ease, we want to make this um, 100. And this will apply um, an ease out to the motion tween. And yeah, I guess this is the ease section right here, right under tweening um, of the properties panel. It's under frame. So moving on to the left car layer, um, we could select any frame between the first and second keyframes of the first motion tween, so 75 to 100 basically. Um, here in this, it looks like maybe they're doing I guess it doesn't really matter I think I'll just go with like this and then we're gonna go into that properties panel again and change this once again to 100 and then push enter in the ease section so we did the middle the left car and now we're gonna do the right car layer so here's the right car layer. We'll select any frame from 78 to 106. So we got, so I guess I'll do it right here maybe. Click off, so I just am doing one little bit there. And then we'll make that 100 as well. And return. Um, so I think anything in the positive is easing out, anything in the negative is easing in as far as this value is concerned. So the book now wants us to um, select the loop at the top of the timeline. Um, and then I think we can do like frame 60 um, Frame 60 to, let's see, 115 respectively. 
I guess you can also just play it like this. I mean, if you move your, if you scrub your thing through, you know, you can examine the easing of the cars as they come in. Um, that did change it a little bit. So we're actually going to do a little bit with frame by frame animation, and it's basically a technique that creates the illusion of movement by making incremental changes between every keyframe. Um, frame by frame animation is an animate is similar to tra traditional hand drawn um, animation, where each drawing is on a separate piece of paper, and it's a fairly tedious process. Um, and frame by frame animations within Animate will increase your file size very rapidly. Uh, because content has to store the contents for each keyframe. So you're supposed to use frame-by-frame frame animation really sparingly within Animate for that reason. And so I think in the next video we'll begin um, inserting a frame-by-frame frame animation inside the left car movie clip symbol to make it move up and down in a jittery fashion, which will kind of simulate the idle of the motor of the car. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video. We'll start that in the next one.